Hi guys, it's Bernie again here from sunny San Diego and in this video I'm going to tell you why we use the Z shell aka ZSH as the default shell in Ansel. So first of all, for those of you who haven't heard of Ansel, Ansel is a private cloud platform. Um, it's an OS that enables you to run your own virtual servers and you can run them on your own server, on your own hardware if you want. You can run it on our appliances. Um, we have cool fanless appliances, the Ansel 1, Ansel 2, Ansel Nano. Check them all out on our website, ansel.com. That's A-N-T-S-L-E dot com. And um, there's a downloadable version so you can run on your own hardware and you can run it in the cloud on a dedicated server. All right, so why are we using the Z shell and not the Bash, the born again shell that virtually everyone else is using? Well, um, both the Bash and the Z shell, they have a common ancestor, which is called the born shell. So the Bash is the born again shell and um, the Z shell is also derived from the born shell. So switching over from Bash to ZSH is actually a breeze. Um, the Z shell has a few advantages. Um, first of all, there is command completion. So if you say system um, CTL, for example, and then you want to do RE and then you don't know what's up there. So you can you get the completion here, reboot, re-enable, reload. Um, rescue restart so let's say rest and then just hit tab and we get restart right and then we say SSH and we don't know what's the service called is this SSH or SSHD we just type SSH and then tab and then it makes SSHD and boom hit enter and it restarts my SSH daemon so this kind of completion is way better than we have in the bash um, and um, there is a, a CD completion, so we can, can say CD and then slash U, and then I just hit the tab key and it makes it user, and then I just hit the L tab and make it LO, user local, and then B and hit tab, user local bin. Boom, I'm here. All right. So for me, the most important thing is I can search in the history. So if I now type S and then I, t I type the up arrow to search in the history above, so to speak, then I get my system CTL command again, right? So if I would instead do a C and then the up arrow, it will give me a cat command that I used before. Um, yeah, so that is really cool. Um, and I have, uh, we have a special dot ZSH um, command. Uh, we have a special dot ZSH RC file. So Vim, I usually um, have an alias of V for Vim. So I use that command so often. So I don't want to type V-I-M or not even V-I. I just want to type V. I have it as an alias. And then let's look into our ZSHRC, right? Um, so here we have it. Um, I have my prompt here. I love that prompt. It's color coded. I'll get back to that prompt again. Um, and I have a bunch of aliases here. As you see, V is Vim. VC is my versh dash C LXC. T is for Tmux because I use that often. TA is Tmux attach. And then this one is cool. It's alias dash G for global. And then G equals, and then this is the pipe sign. And pipe it into grep with the color option. So to show you how that works is I could do a PS dash EF, which gives me all the currently running processes. So now I only want my Java processes, right? So I can say PS dash EF, and usually I would have to type space pipe into grep 
Nginx, for example, or Java. I want to say Java. All right. So here's how it works. Well, let's do the let's do the Nginx. Look at this. All right. So with that global alias that I have in my ZSHRC, I can just say ps dash ef g, and the g is just short for pipe into grep, right? And then nginx. So that is way easier to type, and I use that so often. I want to pipe something into grep, right? So and this is how it works, and I just say ps dash ef g nginx. And I get that same output. Yeah, so I just love that. And um, there is a nice um, a nice presentation on SlideShare. Um, it's called Why ZSH is Cooler Than Your Shell. I love that title. Um, it's uh, from a guy named uh, Robert Rapp. And... Uh, and uh, you can check it out. I have the link in the description. And yeah, this is the end of my little video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you're going to be a fan of the Z shell as well. Um, otherwise, you can use the change shell command. C H S H. And then you can change the shell back to to bash or to whatever shell you prefer. Um, but actually, we here at Ansel are ZHH fans. All right, so that was it. Thanks. Uh, have a great day and talk to you soon. Bye.